Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I have an amazing estate sale haul to share with you. It is October 16th, it's Sunday night. It is seven o'clock at night and the lighting was terrible in here. I feel so official. I have my ring light behind me, not behind me, in front of me. You can see the, I'm gonna try to cover this with my head but I feel like a real YouTuber tonight. I've had this ring light forever and I never use it. Mm -hmm. And I figured why not start tonight? Cause the lighting in here was terrible. The Eagles play soon. So I'm gonna try to get this done. Nick's in the living room watching all the pregame stuff right now. He was watching football all day. And of course I'm scrolling on Facebook Marketplace and an estate sale popped up. And when it says, primitives and a vintage estate sale, you know, you gotta get in the car and run. The lady sent me the address and it was only 12 minutes from my house, so it was perfect. And I cannot believe my finds. I am so excited to share them with you. So here on my channel, I'm normally doing antique hauls, thrift hauls, so I'm not used to getting everything for like one lump sum total. But right before the end of the video and after you see everything that I got today, I want you to guess what my total is. Don't skip ahead and ruin it, but I want you to try to guess what my total was for all of this before I reveal it to you because I think that would be fun and just something different because I don't normally go to estate sales and get like a big lump sum for my items. So that was definitely different and very fun. So grab yourself a nice cup of coffee. Maybe it's the evening when you're watching this. Like I said, it's seven o'clock. I probably should not be sipping on coffee, but I'm gonna try to stay awake for the Eagles game with Nick. And we are gonna get right into this video. So first things first, just to go with Eagles Sunday theme, I picked up this Philadelphia Eagles Ave sign for Nick. Um, I picked this up because then it justified all my other purchases. When I came home, I was like, look, I got you something. <laughs> so I picked this up. It's like literally like paper or plastic. Um, but I thought this would be cute. He can hang it in the garage. He is obsessed with all things Philly sports. We're from New Jersey. So Philly sports, big fans. So let's start with this. This was originally in the photo that I saw the estate sale listing photos on Facebook Marketplace. So this is the main reason that I went. If I had gone and just purchased this, I would have been satisfied. And it is this little jar, a little jam jar, has that pretty rim detail and it is labeled on the bottom. Made in England. I didn't even read that when I bought it. I just knew I liked this style, but holy crap, it says made in England on the bottom. Let me know if you guys like the ring light cause you can use the ring light even during the day, but I feel like it's making, like even when I show you guys the bottoms of things, it comes out blurry, but I feel like it's kind of coming out pretty clear with the ring light. I don't know, yes or no. So like I said, that was the first thing that I picked up. She knew I was coming there for that. And then I, she gave me like a little tour of the house and then she let me be. And I went downstairs in the basement to start. And as soon as I looked around, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have fun in here. So I found this first, well, second after I found the jam jar, but I came across a gorgeous large flower frog and once I saw this, I was like, I know there's treasures hidden in here. So it's a pretty big flower frog. Like here's the size of my hand. It's a big one. It's in very good condition. Beautiful glass. I love this. I can't wait to add it to my collection and just love these. And for the price that I got this at the total, like the total at the end, I got a really good deal for that because I normally 
pay anywhere from like eight to twelve dollars for them at antique stores so as i was still down in the basement i came across these two bowls and you guys know my love for these thick chunky restaurant wear bowls with the green stripes you guys are right next to my corner cabinet with all of my other green stripe china so i can't wait to add this in there i already cleaned everything up um Wiped everything down with disinfecting wipes. I scrubbed everything in my sink. I did get some linens. They're the only thing that I didn't clean up yet, but I will still share them with you. But this one says Iroquois China, PRB4. And then this one just has a buffalo and it says USA China. But I love these, love stacking them in my hutch. And I am forming quite a collection of this green stripe stuff, but I'm not mad about it. All right, these beauties were hidden in the basement as well. Um, you know my love for vintage books, old books, and you guys know how expensive that they can be in antique stores, even in the Goodwill lately. I. I filmed a shop with me in the Goodwill and I think the books were like $5.49 a piece. It's like people are just marking everything up and especially the Goodwill, I'm sure they're realizing like what's hot selling and what's not. But I got this little stack of vintage books, got four of them. And you all know I like to stack my books like this. So I never really mind what's on the binding that is why I love to stack them like this because they're more neutral. I can buy more books this way because sometimes I don't always love what's going on over here. So I'm able to buy more books when I style them this way. I have more options, you know, cause I'm too picky. But let me show you each of them. It's like a pretty mustardy color. This one is God Within Us, Raul plus SJ. Um, Presbyterians and the Revolution. This is a really pretty cover. And then the last one is a beautiful Navy book. It says short stories, De Mao Passant. I don't know. It says book leak. Let's see when some of these were copyrighted. The Book League of America, New York, 1941. This was copyrighted in New York, but it's a beautiful navy color. And the pages on this are to die for. Love them. I grabbed all of the old books that I saw and those were the only four old, old looking ones. So I love them. Um, and then these items are kind of in no particular order. I was just like having the time of my life in there, finding all of these little knickknacks and just grabbing things and creating a little pile. So I came across four of these wooden spoons. I don't know how old they are, but I picked them up because I really liked the patina on them and like the staining. So I got these two. I got this one. Like I said, I already wiped these all down, washed them down. This one says Seabrook Farms, Quick Frozen Foods, Bridgeton, New Jersey. But I loved the style of this and it has really nice coloring. These are the sizes of them. These ones are nice and tall. I love tall ones like this because you can poke these out of a crock. So love them. And then this one's a good size. You can poke these out of like your little jam jars too. These shorter spoons. Next up, I got this gorgeous copper bell, a little cowbell. It is pretty tiny and it still does have the the bell at the bottom it's loud and I don't want to start all the dogs but <laughs> love this little bell I have been finding these at antique stores lately and 
they're very expensive um so i've been passing quite a few of them up but i was very excited to see this today i do have one i think i only have one other bill like that and i got that at a yard sale for four dollars so this one will pair nicely with that one it'll have a little friend <laughs> and then I got this gorgeous little wood spool with the thread still attached to it. I love when they still have the thread on them. This is real teeny. And I have a couple of other ones like this. I have all of my spools and some like old brushes, my little vintage, what are they called? Like dust pans. I have them all kind of styled on top of my Ikea shelves in a wire basket. And it just looks really cute together, like one vignette, all of these things like tossed in the basket. So that's an idea for you guys. I will be showing that to you in an upcoming sitting room video. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I am literally still fighting something from like four weeks ago. Um, but love this adorable little spool. Okay. I came across this neat thing. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like you can use it as a hot pad. Really? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. It's like, I don't, I don't know what material, like clay. I don't know if it's ceramic or what, but I thought it was really cute. And you would know if you watched my recent video, I did just get like a cute vintage looking checkerboard to display. And I don't know, this is so primitive and I'm like loving random primitive touches in my house. So I got this and I also thought this would be cute if one day when Nick has his basement and he has like a little game room section, this would be cute. So I've never seen something like this or know what this really is. So if you know, let me know down below. And also, how cute would this be with like a little candle on it on your living room table or something? That's an idea. Next up, I got these two mixing bowls. Now I already have two of these. I have two small ones, so I don't know what I needed two more for, but I did need them because, you know, you just don't pass up a good deal, you know? You all know. So I got a small one of these. It is Pampered Chef brand, which you all taught me that that is a great brand because um, I do have another version of this in Pampered Chef brand that I got at the Goodwill. So this is a four cup like mixing bowl. These are so cute for like pancakes on a weekend morning. Like I just, I just envision like myself being one of those ladies that like makes a big breakfast on Saturday morning with her cute mixing bowl. But I'm a nurse and I work every other weekend. So that idea is kind of not always possible, <laughs> but it's cute in theory, you know? Then I got this Anchor Hawking one. And this is a big one. This is how many cups? Eight cups, so double the size. This is them next to each other for comparison. Um, this was actually, these two were the last things besides that thing. I'll show you that soon. But these two were one of the last things that I picked up. She was like showing me inside the kitchen cabinets. And I was like, I need both of these because they are so cute. Even if I stack them somehow, I don't know, but I had to have them. These are something practical that I would actually use as well for cooking, so love them. And I just have an addiction to bowls. You guys know that. And then like things with cute handles, sold. I'm sold. I'm gonna insert a clip of how this jar looked um, when I purchased it. I did clean it out and it came like with this wick attached and the candle inside and these like scented berries. It was very cute, but just not my thing. So I got rid of the inside components. I washed it all up 
and this is how it looks. It's this gorgeous glass canister with this rusted lid. I did clean this up. It was a little bit dusty and I just cleaned it up really good with some dish soap and it's supposed to look like this, I believe. The inside did have a sticker that said made in China, so I don't think that this is vintage or anything, but that's okay. Thought this would be really cute. And it did come with this little um, gingham ribbon. So I think that even if I don't put it out now, I could um, put this out for Christmas with this little gingham What's wrong with me? Why can't I think? This little gingham ribbon and that looks so Christmassy. This is a way that you can like transform things that you already have. Like if you already have glass canisters with the little knob, you can tie a little ribbon around it, fill it up with cookie cutters or something for the holidays. I think that would be so cute. So that is probably what I'm going to use this for. And even when I'm not using it for the holidays, I love this lid. I could fill this with glass flower frogs, wooden tools, old measuring spoons. Like there are so many things that you can do with these jars. And that is one of my favorite ways to like hold my collections. So baskets, jars like this. Yes, it feels like I have 1700 wooden spoons and mashers and all of this stuff but if you put it into one area it looks just like a cute collection and I feel like that's how I keep most of my stuff like slim seeming do you know what I mean like for example can you see in this can you see this it's hard to see because of the glass also if you watch this dining room video Right after, of course, I added these little lights that come on at the same time every night and I'm obsessed with them. They add such an ambiance out here. Like, let me turn my light off real quick. You're gonna see the ring light, but. <clears throat> it's okay, Maggie, say. It's hard to see, but it has really cute lighting in the hutch at night. But anyway, I have that giant anchor hocking jar and I shared that in my video that that's a way that you can keep all your collections in one space. Like, yes, I love to collect things, but I kind of try to condense them all so it doesn't look too crazy. You know what I mean? Hope you know what I mean. So attached to the top lid of this, it kind of just stuck like that, obviously, because it had a candle in there. I believe she would pull that off and then use the snuffer to put the candle out. But this is real rusty, very pretty. I love candle snuffers, so I thought that was a gorgeous find. And then inside of the jar was this Wickman candle trimmer. I already have a black candle trimmer, but you can never have too many of these. I have candles in every single room and I have learned that my candles last and burn so much nicer with a nice shortened wick. So tip, if you don't have one of these, find them on Amazon. I can link the one that I use from Amazon down below and it makes my candles last so much nicer and they don't get that black film around the inside if you keep trimming them. Don't let them get that like big chunk at the top, so got those. Okay, I have a couple of linens to share with you. Um, these are both round tablecloths. I'm not going to open them up. I'll just show you the patterns. Um, and I have to wash these still, but I loved the print on them. I thought they would be cute for the holidays. And I just got that $10 table at an antique store that has a round top that I'm thinking like when we have people over or parties or whatever, I can bring that table out to like set food on or set whatever on. So these are round tablecloths, like I said, and these could go on that adorable antique table that I got. So got one in that color. This one does have a brand on it. It says, I just had the tag. Where did you go, little, little guy? Where'd you go? So 
one I love this yet. I think it said the country home. Oh, here we go. The country house collection, Salisbury, Maryland. Blah, blah. Made in India, 100% cotton. Yeah, love the pattern, so cute. And then this one, thought would be adorable for fall. This one has no brand, just 100% cotton. And again, a cute little gingham print. Love that. So cute. Then, oh God, I got another. I got another tablecloth. <laughs> I didn't even realize I got this one too. Um, this kind of looks like that red one. I'm assuming they're the same brand. I don't know, but I got this pattern as well. A little bit different than this red one, but these are just so pretty. I love them. I love a cute little tablecloth. And then I got two of these little linen napkins as well as these two linen napkins. And these would be very cute styled for Christmas and winter. You can stick these draping out of a little basket. You can roll these up, put them in a little jar. So many different ways for you to style them. So got those. And then I got this gorgeous blanket. So it was already like wrapped up in this bag very nicely. And I have been digging these types of blankets. If you know, I've been finding them at the Goodwill, like this style blanket. It's almost like hospital blanket, the way it's knitted. And this thing is huge. I don't know what size it is, but I'm gonna assume it's like king size. It is very large, has gorgeous detail around the perimeter. And this is the pattern. It's like, um, what kind of shape is this? Like a diamond? <laughs> I'm, I've lost my mind. I need more coffee at seven o'clock at night. Um, yeah, so I love this. Thought it was such a pretty blanket. I'm gonna put this in the washer machine and probably stick this um, in a really nice basket that I have next to my sitting room chairs. So I love that. And then I have two more things to share with you. So I went back down in the basement i did a second lap just like i always do at thrift stores antique stores you always want to do a second a third if you have time do four laps around the store you never know what you're going to find again but i did a second lap through the house i went down into the basement one last time and that's actually when i found this jar um but then i found this gorgeous jar or vase whatever you want to call this hiding behind an ironing board. And it does look a little bit foggy in the camera. That's cause I just washed it and I like had soapy water, I shook it all up in the inside. So it's still drying, but this is just a gorgeous glass vase. And I really liked the rim on the top. So I love these on the corner of my, are you gonna bake cookies? <laughs> Nick's gonna bake cookies. <laughs> um, but I love very large bases like this on the end of my TV stand in my living room. They just make such a big statement piece without like cluttering it up because obviously that's our TV stand and where we watch TV. I don't want a bunch of junk on that table. So I usually have one big glass jar or vase on the end with florals and keep it pretty simple up there. So I thought this would be beautiful. I don't have any clear ones like this to put there. So I got that. And then last but not least, as I was walking out to go get a bag, I saw this on an end table outside. It's super rusty, obviously, because it was outside and probably sitting in the rain for I don't know how long, but it is this amazing giant cowbell. It's very rusted, 
but I love it. It does not have the bell inside, but I think this is so cute. It's pretty big and I think it's adorable. Can't wait to display this. Um, I ran out of storage, but we're back. So like I was trying to say, I already have a small cowbell and I have it styled under a small glass cloche. So that is definitely a way that you could display these. Stick a clear glass cloche on top of them. I think that would look so pretty. So that's an idea for you. And that concludes everything that I got at the estate sale today, I think. I think that's all I got. So before I reveal how much I paid for everything, I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think that I paid total for all of this stuff? I was asked to make an offer, which I absolutely hate doing. It makes me severely uncomfortable because I don't want to offend anyone. I don't know if I'm overpaying, although I, I shop around a lot. I know what like a good deal is. So I want you to guess in the comments down below, what do you think I paid? Pause this video and make a guess down below. Okay, I paid $55 for everything that I got today. I didn't even count how many items that I got, but let's do that really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 items I got today. That's including each individual book, each individual linen, how many did I just say? $1.77. $1.77 an item. Oh my God. That's craziness. Crazy. That's cheaper than going to the Goodwill. That is why you gotta check your Facebook marketplace, go to yard sales, estate sales. Wow. Nick. $1.77 an item. $1.77 too much. <laughs> I paid $1.77 for this. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got at the estate sale today. I cannot believe the deals that I got. I'm so excited with the things that I found. Let me know if you think that the ring light was easier to see some of these items. Maybe I will start setting it up for hauls and stuff. It definitely brings out a lot of light and the fact that I'm not wearing makeup and that I didn't do my hair today and that I'm in a random t-shirt and some sweats. So this is how we do Sundays over here. <laughs> But I had to get this video up for you. I was too excited not to get all of these treasures cleaned up and share them with my people. So hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.